morning girls welcome back to my third class on thank you ma'am by langston huge but i have noticed you are not attending my classes wholeheartedly not all of you your school is trying hard to compensate your loss to cooperate you to help you to get out of this impasse but you are not serious you are not cooperating with your teachers so i am here today to ask you to attend our classes seriously and regularly so to recap we have found mrs luella bets washington jones she was walking along the street at late hour of night and an archin a boy a teenager ran up behind her and he gave a single tug to her pocket book that is her purse but the boy lost his weight uh, lost his balance sorry and fell on his back on the sidewalk mrs jones kicked the boy and picked him up and asked him to pick up her purse then she didn't hand him over to the police but she took him to home and then what happened sweat popped out on the boy's face when mrs luella bets washington jones said that you did a wrong with me you tried to steal my purse so i have all control over you i am going to take you home to wash your face and i am not going to release you set you free then sweat what is the meaning of sweat perspiration gham popped out on the boy's face popped out means here appears suddenly abruptly cheleta ghamte shuru korlo and he began to struggle struggle to set him free mrs jones er hat theke nijeke chharabar chesta korlo mrs jones what did she do when the boy started to struggle she only stopped stopped walking jerk what is the meaning of jerk sudden pull hachkatana around in front of her actually she was dragging the boy from behind chele ta pechone chilo uni tante tante anchilen ekhon chele ta ke tan diye hachkatan diye samne niye len puta half nelson underline in the footnote the meaning of half nelson has been given it is a wrestling hold you know the meaning of wrestling you have seen the movie dangal wrestling is kusti and hold mane patch kusti er ekta patch to exert e x e r t pressure with the palm of the hand on the back of the opponent's neck protipokkher gharer pechone hat diye pressure dewa shei patch tar naam half nelson she had been holding the boy his short front by his short front now she put a, a half nelson about his neck and continued to drag him up the street oi bhabe ghar dhore take rasta diye tante tante anchen when she got to her door what is the meaning when she reached home she dragged the boy inside she dragged the boy into her apartment down a hall his apartment consists of a hall tar bari ta kemon ekta boro ghor and into a large kitchenette furnished room it is a large room what is the meaning of kitchenette kitchenette is a small cooking area adjacent a big room ekta boro gharer sathe lagoa choto rannar jayga ke bole kitchenette ei rokom ghor ke bole studio apartment studio apartment mane Uh, it is a room that is the living room that is the bedroom that is the dining room with a 
cooking uh, arrangements at a corner there is a toilet this type of apartment is called a studio apartment mrs jones used to live in such an apartment in such a flat at the underline rear of the house the meaning of rear is back the it is a big house there were so many rooms so many tenants and mrs jones lived in a flat in the back of the house it had a bishal boro bari onek ghor royeche onek bharate royeche onek bashinda royeche mrs jones er ghor ta barir pechon dike she switched on the light entering her room she switched on the light and left the door open she didn't close the door she left the door open the boy could hear other underline rumors what is the meaning of rumors rumor means dweller of other rooms onno ghorer bashindara laughing and talking in the large house so at this late hour of the night they are all awake they are all laughing they are all gossiping they were talking the boy could hear well some of their doors were open too we have seen that mrs jones left her door open so did some of other rumors onekei mrs jones er moto darja khola rekheche so he knew so the boy knew he and the woman were not alone he was sure that there were so many people living in that big house so they were not alone the boy could well understand the woman still held him by the neck in the middle of her room she has reached in the middle of her room still holding the boy at the neck ekhono ghar ta dhora ache she said what is your name oi rokom ghar dhorei tini jiggesh korlen the name of the boy roger answered the boy learn the spelling i don't know why and how girls used to write r o j e r but it is r o g e r learn the spelling well roger highlight what is the name of the boy roger then roger you go to that sink what is the meaning of sink basin for washing utensils for washing uh, face and mouth it is called a sink go to that sink and wash your face so mrs jones we have seen that she told the boy today tonight your face will be washed you don't have your mother you don't have anybody at home to ask you to wash your face but today it would be washed i will ask you to wash it i will arrange everything for washing your face and now she said go to that sink and wash your face it is a order it is a command said the woman where upon what is the meaning of where upon after then after that after saying so go to the sink to wash your face after she said that she underline turned him loose what is the meaning of turned him loose released him set him free eto khone gola theke ghar theke hat ta soralen take chhele dilen at last finally she set the boy free Roger what did Roger do looked at the door looked at the open door the door seemed to recon him come run khola darja ta jano take ishara korche chole aaye pali aaye then Roger looked at the woman but then he remembered how dangerous how tough how powerful the woman is I cannot flee I cannot escape looked at the door again he was provoked by the open door and went to the sink so he realized that he could not get escaped from this lady so he decided to listen to his order to carry out his order he went to the sink to wash his face let the water run until it gets warm you know very well we heat our bathing water in the geyser geyser e jal garam korar por kol khulle prothome thanda jal pai pipe er jal ta then it starts coming out tar pore hot water ta berote shuru kore 
So, it is Mrs. Jones's motherly affection. Out of motherly concern, she asked Roger to let the water run until it gets warm. She said, It is very painful to wash his face at that late hour of the chilly cold night. Oi shite rato ratre thanda chale mukdhu ata khub koshte. Tai, the mother inside her asked the boy to let the water run until it gets warm. And she also gave him a clean towel. She said, here's a clean towel. You gonna take me to jail? Gonna is an American expression meaning going to. When Mrs. Joan asked him to wash his face with hot water, offered him a clean towel to mop his face, he could not understand what she will do next. So, he was suspicious. He could not understand the lady, the reaction of the lady, the attitude of the lady. So, he asked, Are you going to take me to jail? Are you going to hand me over to the police? Asked the boy, bending over the sink. He was about to wash his face, so he was bending over the sink. Mukdho pe bole, nichu hoye dariye chhe, takhon she prashna ta korlo. So, the readers can well understand that the boy was afraid of police. That the boy was afraid of being in prison. Not with that face, Mrs. Jones said, made this remark in a mocking way, in a mocking tone. Jodi jele toke diyo, oi nongra mukhe niye jabun. First wash your face, mop your face, then I will decide whether to take you to jail or not. She said it in a mocking tone. Then she assured the boy, I would not take you nowhere. While assuring, she made another grammatical mix mistake. That is the use of double negation which changes the meaning of the statement. She wanted to say, I would not take you anywhere. Ami toke kothao niye jabo na. But to give stress, but to give an emphasis, she said, I would not take you nowhere. So here, double negation has occurred, not and nowhere. So the meaning of her statement has been changed. It, it has become just the opposite. But without knowing this, she made this mistake. But she meant, I will not take you anywhere. I will not take you to the jail, said the woman. Here, I am trying to get home to cook me a bite to eat and you snatch my pocketbook. But you are responsible for all this mess. I was coming back home. I was planning to prepare a meal for me and go to bed and have a sound sleep. But you tried to snatch my purse. So the whole thing has been messed up. Shab gondagol kore dili tui. Ami to bari ash chila amre dhe khe ghumiye pottan. Tui to shab kolli. Maybe you ain't been to your supper either. What is the meaning of supper? Supper is the last meal of 24 hours a day. Chobbish ghantar shesh khabar ke bale supper. Maybe, possibly, you ain't been. It's another grammatical mistake. It should be you haven't been to your supper either. Tuyo bodhai ratir khabar khashni. Late as it be. Koto deri hoye galo. Have you? Have you been? Have you taken your supper? Have you had your meal? The boy replied, he is another master. Mrs. Jonesero lekha parar ja abostha, e chheleo lekha pora karen. There is nobody home at my house. There is nobody home. This portion was enough to state that he had nobody. But he added, at my house. This is something meaningless. There is nobody home at my house said the boy. Then we will eat. This is the same reaction when Mrs. Jones came to know that the boy don't, didn't have his mother. Cheleti jakhon bollo amar maa nei, keu amake bolan nei to wash my face. What did she say? She said, then it will get washed this evening without any 
sentimentalizing without any sympathizing she said if you don't have your mother at home to tell you to wash your face then it will be washed this evening i will make uh, that you may wash your face today tonight now when the boy said there's nobody home at my house she plainly reacted then we will it doesn't matter if you don't have anybody home to prepare supper for you to serve your meal i will do it for you i will cook for you i will serve your supper we will eat together i believe you are hungry in the last page we have seen that she asked the boy are you hungry but now she is sure the mother inside her prompts her that the boy must be hungry or been hungry or you have been hungry she tries to guess the reason behind snatching her purse why did the boy do so she was trying to probe into the matter so she thought you have been hungry to try to snatch my pocket book so you tried to snatch my pocket book to get some money to buy some food but the boy said i wanted a pair of blue suede shoes highlight prashna ashbe what did the boy want but the boy said no i didn't wish to steal your purse to buy some food but i wanted to steal your purse to buy a pair of blue suede shoes the boy was wearing tennis shoes we have read already but he wished to buy a pair of blue suede shoes what is the meaning of suede suede is the untreated kid skin untreated chago shishur charmo chamra take bale suede ei juto amar chai well acha you didn't have to snatch my pocket book to get some suede shoes if you want a pair of suede shoes why did you try to snatch my pocket book said mrs luella betts washington jones you could have asked me there lies another mistake made by her it is not you could of asked me it should be you could have asked me asked me for the money to buy a pair of blue suede shoes the boy was thunderstruck listening to the advice of the lady stombhito hoye gelo juto chai to amar bag churi korte geli keno amar kache chaite pattis in awe the boy can only manage to utter man means what are you saying that i should could uh, could have asked you for the money to buy a pair of blue suede shoes but you don't even know me i don't even know you we are strangers how could i ask you the water dripping from his face after washing his face this conversation was going on so he forget so he forgot to mop his face and water was dripping from his face tap tap kore jol porche the boy looked at her in wonder in surprise in confused confusion hotobombo hoye taki ache there was a long pause both of them remained silent a very long pause they remained silent for a long time after he had dried his face with that clean towel the boy had mopped his face and not knowing what else to do he was so puzzled he could not think of what to do next he was getting shocked one after another without handing handing him over to the police the lady brought him home the lady asked him to wash his face with warm water the lady offered him a clean towel to mop his face and now the lady said if you wish to have a pair of blue suede shoes you should have asked me for the money you should not have tried to snatch my pocket book he could no longer absorb such shocks 
পরপর এতগুলো আনএক্সপেক্টেড টার্নস ও নিতে পারছে না তাই বোকার মতো কি করবে বুঝতে পারছে না ড্রাই ডিট আগেন কি করবে বুঝতে না পেরে মোছা মুখটা আবার মুছল দ্য বয় টার্ন অ্যারাউন্ড পেছন ফিরল ওয়ান্ডারিং হোয়াট নেক্সট হি ওয়াজ থিঙ্কিং নাও হোয়াট উড দ্য লেডি ডু নাও হোয়াট উড দ্য লেডি সে নাও শি ইজ সামথিং পাজলিং শি ইজ সামথিং ওয়ান্ডারফুল দ্য ডোর ওয়াজ ওপেন দ্য ওপেন ডোর সিম টু অ্যালিওর হিম সিম টু কল হিম হি কুড মেক আ ড্যাশ হোয়াট ইজ দ্য মিনিং অফ ড্যাশ রান উইথ সুপ্রিম স্পিড জোরে দৌড় লাগানো ফর ইট ডাউন দ্য হল খোলা দরজাটা যেন তাকে বলছে হল দিয়ে ছুটে চলে আয় হি কুড রান 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 খোলা দরজাটা দিয়ে ইফ হি কুড ম্যানেজ টু এসকেপ দ্য ওয়ান থিং লেফট ফর হিম টু ডু ইস টু রান অ্যাভে ফ্রম দিস লেডি হুম হি কুড নট আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড হু ফিল্ড হিম উইথ অ উইথ ওয়ান্ডার সো হি ওয়ান্টেড টু এসকেপ কল ইট ডে and be very serious with all the virtual classes offered to you by your teachers and cooperate with us this is your duty to listen to your teachers while we are trying our hard to compensate your loss due to this disaster have a good day